Hey guys, and welcome back to Soulmate Saturdays. In today's Pick a Card or Pick a Crystal reading, we're going to be doing Future of This Connection. So first, I want you guys to decide on a crystal. I want you to decide on which crystal is for you. It will signify your reading. And then when you have your crystal chosen, you can check the description of the video because there will be timestamps listed in the description. But the first crystal we have today is the Celebrate Crystal. The second crystal we have today is the Precious Crystal. And the third crystal we have today is the Protection Crystal. All right, so if you need an extra moment, you can pause the video here. And when you're ready, just jump straight into your reading with the timestamps below. Okay, so we will start off with the Celebrate Crystal. So if you chose the Celebrate Crystal, then this is your reading. Let's look at future of this connection. Okay, let's see what we got. Future of this connection. Okay. <clears throat> All right, the star coming out. That is a great fresh start. Sparks could have been flying, flying. Um, things could have aligned. It might feel a little bit like fate and destiny when you guys met. Things were going good. Let's see where we're at. Ten of Pentacles. I like this. Achieving abundance. Very happy. Very happy. Could be settling down, making a commitment, moving in together. Something is happening right now. They're showing me how their relationship is progressing. Three of Swords. Something happened. The rug got pulled out from underneath you. So now what? Where do I go? What do I do? Very interesting because there's another three over here. We've got the Empress. Oh, we've got another 10. Wow. Three, three, and two tens. Wow. A third three. Okay. Okay. Here's what I want to say. A couple things with this. Uh, it could be a twin relationship because twins do make a third party energy. However, even in any relationships, there's your energy, there's theirs, and there's a shared connection. That could be the third party energy. But when we have three, 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 this is answered prayers. This is the Trinity. So this is coming together. I do want to say this will, this will highlight the word will, will lead to union. Okay. Or in your sake reunion, because we met, we're in divine bliss. Everything's good. What happened? I don't know. Can be third party with all the threes. Doesn't have to be. Rug got pulled out from underneath me. Can't even be dark night of the soul. Oh my God, this devastation, destruction, tower moment. Now what? Well, now I'm going to rebuild. This is where you're at, right? Make it or break it. I'm going to choose to activate my divine feminine. Maybe fall in love with my divine feminine to create the reality I want. Self-care needs to be highlighted. I'm putting myself first. I'm healing because here it is. Don't get trapped by this illusion of separation though because I think they're coming back together. Yeah. Union's inevitable. It's happening. So don't get trapped too much by this time apart, because I don't know why. I think it's protecting you and healing you while you're on this journey. And so you could be the divine feminine torn from your divine masculine, or you could be, oh my God, the divine masculine wanting to reconnect with the divine feminine, however that relates with you. But we have the divine feminine energies at play, right? It, they, you're being very shielded and protected while you're healing. I'm all roads are going to lead back to them. It, 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 it's just inevitable. I don't know how else to explain it. So I think that through some twist of fate, um, it's a process. It's just what's going to happen next in this connection. Heal. Spend time alone. Reconnect with back yourself. Take care of yourself, but know that they're coming back. Knowing that you two can achieve abundance and greatness. Knowing you two are better together. But right now, maybe you need to be apart for whatever energy that is. But I think we need not to worry that you are protected on this journey. Okay? Knowing their hand is out. They want to reach to you and you want to reach to them. We're just waiting for some reason. Waiting in the wings. And I think it's important, especially with the work in progress on the back of the bottom of the deck, that... It is a work in progress and we are building to a better tomorrow. It's just tomorrow is not today. Okay. So card one. Yes, it is rebuilding. We will rebuild to a better tomorrow um, and it will happen. We will get back together. It's just not right now for whatever reason. Okay. Okay. Card one. That is your reading. Let me shuffle this deck back up. 
Okay, let's see. And then we will jump into card two, future of this connection in just a moment. Okay. All right, so I can get my camera to not be blurry. Let's see it's not focused. There we go. All right, if you chose the precious stone, this is your reading, and we're going to look at the future of this connection. Let's see. Oh, Seven of Swords and Temperance. Hmm. Maybe not all is not quite lost. That even if they broke your trust and did something mischievous here, uh, you might they might be able to regain your trust back again. Let me see what's going on there. Okay. King of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, two, two Kings of Wands. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, hold off on making any rash, brash decisions, right? So if somebody wants to, like, fix this by saying, let's move in together or something crazy like that, hold off on anything big for now. I think this needs to be a slow-moving energy, especially if somebody did something wrong. They need to earn your trust back. You need to show, they need to be able to show you that they respect you. And this is a process. When you both are elevated to king status, and you will, you both will, here's what unlocks the abundance code. Here you guys can now do whatever it is you desire. Move in together, get married, move to another state, country, something. But it's a hold off for now because if you go right back in, see this kind of fire on both sides. Oh, there's a lot of fire. If, if you rush back into this relationship before you've completely healed and got the respect and honesty and truth and all that stuff, you're going to play with fire and it's gonna you're going to get burned again. Go slow. Like even if you have to pull back, like if you guys were living together and it just, space is needed for this relationship to heal. I think you guys can heal. There's the water, the cleansing energy, but it's going to be a slow moving energy to regain the trust, all of that stuff back. And there's not a rush to fix it because, hey, if we want to be together for the rest of our lives, then why do we have to have it figured out today? Like, why can't we heal together and rebuild together? Because I don't want you guys to jump straight back in not blindly see what's going on. Red flags keep happening. You fall back in old behaviors and patterns. And then it's, oh my God, same old story. They did it again. But when you have those boundaries and, and you take the time and they could see you've changed. And so they have no other choice but to change with you and grow with you. Then their relationship can evolve. Because the relationship can be restored. It will. We need some strategic energy here to say, hey, no, we have to actually go on a date night we can't just be with each other 24 7 like saturday night i'll see you date night right instead of seeing you seven days a week maybe see you one day a week it doesn't have to be that i don't know i was just saying something right but again kind of like well, let's do the next step so let's plan let's not just jump straight in because maybe you did that before and you jumped straight in blindly and then it got burned too quickly so now we have to take things slow and kind of plan and prepare and say well how do we build? Let's get the friendship. Like, how do we rebuild first? And maybe a strategic step is like getting counseling. It doesn't have to be. I'm just throwing out some ideas. But I think for you guys, it you guys will achieve this. This is when we've mastered all of the emotions. And we've both risen up the kings. And then we can be happier together. Now, it's like now I can move back in. I'm not saying everybody lives together. But just with that analogy, since we're talking about it, right? Then the faith is restored. Then we now the trust is rebuilt. Now we know how to communicate. Now we can get back to where we were, but not even. We're going to be better versions of ourselves. So your relationship with the future of this connection is, is going to rebuild. You guys are going to start from the scratch and get to know each other all over again. So you can rebuild into divine greatness. Right? You can restore this relationship. It's going to take some work. It's going to take some real work. And we're going to have to learn to love each other and trust each other all over again i think you guys can it's just a slow moving energy so guys take your time get to know each other again fall back in love with each other build the trust build the trust build the trust and make sure you have that respect okay all right card two this is your reading okay all right let's shovel up this deck 
And we'll jump into card three in just a moment. All right, so what do we have? Oh yeah. Okay, if you chose the protection stone, then this is your reading. All right. Future of this connection. Nine of Pentacles. The world. Okay. Something's changing. Something could be changing rather rapidly. You might be growing. Are you outgrowing this relationship? Or are they growing with you? Are you finding yourself outside of this relationship but still able to have yourself in the relationship? Let's see. But this is a whole soul cycle completing. Let's get some more information. Yeah, because there's the Ten of Cups. There's a lot of joy. Gosh, happiness again. I think it's because you found yourself. But just because you found yourself doesn't mean the relationship has to be over. Independence does not mean singlehood. Yeah, there's the lovers. Okay, there we go. Too much of a pull. Yep. High Priestess, Seven of Wands, Queen of Cups, Eight of Swords. Okay. Let me get like two more cards. I kind of see what's going on here. Page of Wands. Okay. All right. You guys are breaking free. Out of your shell, out of the shadows, whatever it is. Maybe you, got, maybe you lost yourself in this connection. Like, who am I outside of being a wife? Who am I outside of being a mother? It doesn't have to be that. But you're finding your voice. You're finding yourself. And you're falling in love with yourself all over again. Because of this, it's allowing you to fall back in love with your partner even deeper. And not saying you fell out of love with your partner. but what, You could have. But what I'm saying is because you love yourself so much, it actually makes them love you more and actually makes you love them more. It's a very equal, give and take, good shared reality, uh, shared dynamic it's, it's healthy love, right? Because you might have lost yourself so much. Maybe if it wasn't them, it could have been work, could have been a past relationship, you could have been doing something else. It was a little bit of distraction energy. But here I am. What was hidden is coming to light. And through the darkness, like there's the light, right? You find yourself. You're very you're sure. Uh, it's very interesting because um, Cats are very independent and curious, and that's the divine feminine energy as well. It's feminine energy, and so you might be getting curious about a lot of stuff, about yourself, about your partner, about your past, about your upbringing, all the stuff, but it's very, like, it's inquisitive energy, but it feels very good. It's like, um, maybe before you had an unhealthy distraction, and now you have a healthy distraction. You guys could be doing it together. Future of this connection, whatever was going on, you completely are, are no longer enchained by it. You've broken free. It's like a healthy mindset. It could have all started with the mind. But, like, love is on the horizon for sure, without a doubt. We have the lovers here. This, this pull is too strong. This connection, nobody can fight. Nobody can break. But you had to close something out here. And it's not that you had to close it out with an ex or somebody else or whatever it is. It's mostly about yourself because we have the Nine of Pentacles here. And when you're in a healthy state of being... Then you can rise to any occasion and you can manifest all types of love. This is where your complete happiness lies when you're in alignment with yourself first, okay? Everything else was that was that unhealthy distraction. That was just a defense mechanism you needed at that time. And so it eventually came to light that, hey, let's have now healthy energies and let's not use those unhealthy behavior patterns anymore. You release them and let them go. What's going on is you're finding yourself, your intuition, your your spiritual energy. There's so much here, but you're, it's allowing you to, because you find you, you find love. So does that mean you're single and you're now going to meet the, the one? Maybe, but what I'm mostly feeling is it's able you, because you, you, because you found yourself, you're able to fall deeper in love. You're able to be even happier in love. You've broken free. It's all a mindset thing. The future of this connection all depended on you. And you master the vibration of love. Hooray. You celebrate that. So now the world is your oyster. You can literally have anything you want. The future of your love all depended on you becoming the vibration of love. And now you can end up in divine ecstasy, bliss, union, all of this unlike like unrealistic stuff that you think like what fairy tales are made of 
No, that's the love that's coming for you because you conquer this of yourself first. Maybe you change some limiting beliefs, but whatever you closed out the whole cycle, now you fell in love with yourself, which allows you to enter love in the fifth dimension, enter that unconditional love. So congratulations, whatever you figured out here and released some huge block allowed you to bring in even maybe a twin flame connection, right? that's what's coming that's what's headed your way is divine union but it all started with you you released some big blocks and now you're vibrating love so here it is divine energies are waiting here for you so you have literally your divine energies of love that's the future future of this connection is love like never before 5d love that's what's happening that's what's going to happen you break free of this fireworks come out here you have evolved, evolved and now you get to reap the rewards you get to reap the rewards of what you all your hard work pays off so in comes this beautiful love because you did the work and so now you're rewarded okay all right card three we're going to wrap up your reading right there and this wraps up all the ratings for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you got anything out of this video, do me a favor with that thumbs up button this way. I know you've got something that resonated. If you guys haven't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. There's a bell too. You want it the bell and turn on all notifications. Why? Because I do daily videos and I don't want you guys to miss out on any upcoming messages. The next message just might be the message that you need to hear today. All right, my loves. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time. Be blessed.